Hello everyone. Welcome to the lesson number two of week number eight. So today, following the topic about the sheep, we are reading a literature piece called Stowaway. Stowaway. Stowaway is a monologue. You know, ah, yamaning onkzor iskwalot ah dalang yung kulo onkz zirikt nozar nozdech. Шүрчхэг Stow Way гэж хэлдэг. За тэгэхээр энэ талаар гарсан нэг literature буюу мөн зохиолын а мин зохиолын нэг хэсгийг нь унших болно бүгдээрээ. За за summary нь бүгдээрээ энэ дээр уншье. За энэ юу манай болохоор Learners book нь юм аа page 74 to 76 үед 74-аас 74-аар хөдсөн байгаа. За Let's start reading. In the summer of 1768, Captain James Cook, a famous explorer, set sail from England on the HMS Endeavour on a three-year journey to discover an unknown continent on the other side of the world. Most of the crew did not know that a young boy called Nicholas Young was hiding on the ship. This courageous boy wrote about the perilous voyage in his journal, which he filled with tales of hurricanes, disease, new lands, and strange animals. Nicholas Young, Captain James Cooking, who is on the North Sandwich, Orange Lane to Shah Journey in the Hot North Sandwich, Yavch Pass and the Yavch Pacta Hot Center. So, you did now in the case my yard pitsum. Tatakar to a hundred day. I'm a sort summary, summary. Tabu did it. I'm getting it. Ah, it's a part number one in the same machine. Sunday, 7th to Friday, 19th, by mouth. So, not long as I'm not in the name of the article. So, I get in who part there was hard in higher week. She knew where it was on which has not perilous for you, full of danger or risk. Voyage, a long journey involving travel by sea or in space. Let's start reading. With the help of seamen Francis Haiti, John Ramsey, and Samuel Evans, I have managed to keep my presence aboard Endeavour a secret. She's a small ship and her company over 80 in number. It's a wonder I have not been discovered with all the coming and going of the men aboard. But I have not the three seamen I paid to get me on bring biscuit and water. They make certain I exercise each night during middle watch when there are fewer hands on deck. It's a good hiding place I've got in the small boat Endeavour carries aboard her. I can look over the edge and see the deck without being noticed. But it is difficult lying still day and night. <laughs> Human yard, the who's a winded person that are gentle, clear up more stop, she has sneaks on sod, moon, oro, is too often with cushion who stayed harab, often the home she had in the new catch bag, included that just it was on step. Sataragin part of the part of the door in Oras was done. Sign who coron as often. True or false? Get this one. Get it in. Need the part. Durum part. In door. Or a or then how you mix as well. That need the arm him. Yeah. Or some wool brick. Again, if there he is a little bit of snow. Go you. No hot low with him. Which one? Get the arm wool brick. If there is a hot brick. True or false? That means. A young boy called Nicholas was hiding on the ship. Is it true or false? 
Yes, it is true because he was saying um, in his diary that he was hiding um, uh, in the ship uh, with the help of three seamen on the deck. So just like this, I want you guys to read the follow-up sentences and statements and uh, write whether it, the sentence is true or false. Okay, moving on to the next one. Endeavor creaks without rest as she sits at anchor. The breeze chatters her ropes against the masts and the sheep's bell clangs on the hour and half hour. With all the din of London, I thought it could never be so noisy on the sheep, but it is. I've got chickens for neighbors and the goat. They clack and bleat day and night, and pens on the deck. I'm glad of their company. Today, the 19th, Captain Cook gathered the sheep's company on deck and read the articles of war aloud. Captain is a clean shaven man, strict and stern with coal eyes. Okay. Din means a loud or unpleasant and prolonged noise. Cluck, making a short, low, low, low sound, especially of a hen. Hen sheep, goat, or calf. Weak or wavering cry. Stern, serious and unrelenting. Okay. Scholar, for you, a person who is highly educated, for you, student. Okay, so in Borum will be true or false. In some connects, I heard what he said, you get the arson's vision, Frank, who Nicholas Mann, a yak you meet the jar, yak yammer, not the pet, as now cemented, the yammer door she making seven. Өлөгөнгөсөндөө Okay, number three. We toss at an anchor. My stomach heaves and cramps he cramps and heaves again, and I'm bruised from head to toe. I wish my father would come and uh, come aboard and take me home. I'm tired, wet, and hungry. Father knows by my letter that I have run out on the butcher. But I did not write where I meant to go, nor what I meant to do, for when I sent the letter. I hardly knew my plans myself. Even if he knew, he would not come. I'm, disappoint I'm a disappointment to father. All my brothers are scholars. Only I could not settle to my studies. Father has no use for a son who will not learn Latin. <laughs> Scholar, 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 Whether <laughs> In her whether it's true or false. Okay, moving on to part four. 
За хамгийн сүүлийн хэсэг шин үгс маань өнгөрсний дараа бүгд шин үгс ярьсан. Wednesday 24th to Thursday 25th гэж юм даа. I shall be patient. Father thinks me worthless when it comes to sticking with the plan. He says I run from everything. Well, I did run from uh, Reverend Smith's school and from the butcher, but I had a good cause on both counts. And unhappy as I am, cramped in the hard confines of the boat. I'm better off than I was with the butcher, and so shall I shall remain recording my trials in this journal. I shall prove to Father that I am not a quitter, that I'm good for something, that I'm more than a butcher's boy. Finally, the rain has stopped. This afternoon, at last, we weighed anchor. Now there are new sounds to join with the others. The wind is clapping sails. The men singing out in the rigging, the water churned by, and there was prow, fine sounds, sailing sounds. Right, is it there? Cramped, Kiduma. Uncomfortably small or restricted. Oh, you are the body. Chickilson. That's like it's going to be much too. Confines, Kiduma. The borders or boundaries of a place. Better off in the more desirable or advantageous position. Okay, one better off. I'm better off than I was with the butcher. Okay, in the end, they're bad. Ah, you know, I need, I need to do that. Just because I'm not so. Ah, it's too Churn, move or cause to move about vigorously. Vigorously. А тэгэхээр энэ хэсэг дээр болохоор а нэг их шин газарт хүрч ирж байгаа талаар бичсэн мэн тий. Бид хэцүү байсан ч гэсэн би а энэ байдалта өмнө хийжсэн тэр махны ажлаасаа илүү сэтгэл хангалуу байна гэсэн мэн тий. Үүгээрээ би авта би ямар нэгэн юм хийж чадна гэдгийг баталхыг хүсэж байгаа өөр харуулсан байна. Окей. Баянгад артлт нөгөө хоёрыг мөнгөч гэнэ. Хоёр үлдэр ма? Whether it's true or false. Okay, now the homework is Сайны нэгээс харах хүртэл true false гэдэг хоёр үлдрийн өнөө бодлоо тэр 10 үлдрийн өнөө бодлоо гэдгийг нь артлтанд тодорхойлж өгч гэнэ тий. Гэтэ мэдээж ихээсээ харж байгаад битгүү олвол ихээ дахин дахин уншаад яг энийг хэлсэн байна уу энийг хэлээгүй байна уу гэдгийг нь харж байгаа. Next time for the next lesson. Bye.